<clears throat> I also got a drink. <clears throat> Chad's been slacking. Chad is always slacking. Look at my sub, sub count. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub, April. Uh... Let me just check where I was yesterday. Or today, rather. Oh, it was Velvet Taco. That's what it was called. There we go. I found it. Velvet Taco. Oh. <laughs> Reset code. Thank you so much for the five gift arenas. <laughs> I didn't say nothing, Cake. I appreciate both you and April. You only sought to bolt streamers? That's wild. Mm-hmm. What if I tell you I am bold? <laughs> hey, kitty. She's just inside. You own yourself to smell these streamers? Wow. Why does it look like somebody hit the wall? she fucking at? No, oh, there you are. Oh. Hoi. Have you seen how much money we've got floating around in that room? Mm hmm? Have you seen how much money there is in that room? I have not. You should go have a look. Do we not have money, like, stored, like, all over the place? Yeah, there's some in there, which I don't know who that belongs to. There's also, uh, like, it's on the floor, literally behind a fucking well, couch. I think that makes me love six. Hmm. 
5,000 in here. <laughs> so we're like sitting on what? I don't even know what this translate is into. What does this translate into? Like how much money is that? Um, so there's 70,000 in wash. I, we just need to change it to normal. Um, and there's like 100k in the... Is that what you use ATMs for though? 30k just being like cash. It's the house that is rent and shit. Mm. That's all from running HVAC. Literally most of that is max money. <laughs> Look at the spreadsheet. Um, out of the 21 entries, uh, oh, five are not McGregor. I guess. You said five is not McGregor's? Yeah. The fuck is everyone else doing? Sunshine. This moonshine just not making money? Moonshine makes money, but they just don't clean through us. They just give the cut later on. This is all the cleaning cut. That's that's all cleaning stuff. But also we did the we did the the hard um money run. So we got like double the amount back from it. Hmm. So yeah. Okay, let me pull up my notes because I made notes. You see my text message, Phantoms? Uh, this all happened on my birthday, so this is why I have forgotten it all. Um, I had a call, so Irish from the ADMC called me. Right. Um, basically said that he wanted to squash the beef. Um, that they believed it was tit for tat because McGregor managed to rub them all in the hospital after they shot him. So they said that they felt it was it was done with. And that one of the reasons they didn't want to continue beefing with us is because of the history that you have with them when oh, the yeah, EMC. Oh, yeah, that pissed McGregor the fuck off. Why? Because what does that have to do with anything? So we're saying they don't want to have bad relations with us and your group off the bat because they feel that you they owe you. Because they owe me? What? We're supporting them five years ago. Okay, I guess that they do kind of owe me because that kind of put a nail in Seaside and yeah. So that's kind of their thought process. They don't want to already be at war with us and fighting with us uh, straight away just because uh, of the history. Have they talked to McGregor though? They said they were going to speak to Sh Shang, is it? And see if he wanted to speak to him, but I don't know. McGregor seemed okay with it, but it seems like he wasn't happy. Well, he wasn't happy because it's like a cutout. Like, again, it's... it's So, see like this. From McGregor's point of view, right? They are going... He is going... Uh, him, Reed, whatever. Is the ones that are beefing with ADMC. It's not us. And then they say, well... Okay, we don't want to beef with you. Because of this guy. When we are... At the end of the day, we're not really involved. Well, I had that conversation with them. Right. I told them that... McGregor does McGregor things, and we kind of just let it let it happen, and we don't ask it to come back on the house, etc. And they basically should have told me that they don't work that way, and if they are at war, McGregor, we're all they're pretty much they'll go after any of us. Okay, do they go after their own members then? Mm, I don't know, but they said that if you're affiliated with someone, you're part of it. Okay, so they go after their own members. That's that's fine. Like that, if it's, if it's all based on affiliation, that's all it takes, right? I'm affiliated with Rod. Rod is my son. He's affiliated with, uh, what's her face? Well, I, could just tell I, I, I don't know, know, know how the logic for you, but that's what they said. It doesn't work that way in this city, and you're you're gonna run into this problem a lot. Is what they basically told me. Like ten times a day. Fucking of devil. What up? Maybe. Hello. Which devil are we talking about here? What is it? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Kitty? Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. I don't know. Do you want to you wanna find out? Mm. 
Yeah, no, I have I have no idea. I don't have a lockpick and I don't know if you even can lockpick them. Okay. I honestly, if Reed doesn't know anybody, then I probably not. No, a friend does. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if you can lockpick. I'm us. glad we bumped into each other yesterday. Yeah, I'm laughing at this. Yeah. Isn't this early for you? I'm forgetting out there. Bad luck what on time the time even is it for you? I didn't think any further ahead than that. Uh, not really, but you're finding out now. I mean, honestly, the only person I... The only people who can um, cough, I think, are cops. Yeah, it's early. I was about to say. Oh, it's so nice out. You want to go to the park? Okay, fair enough. I was about to say, like, Give me a call I'm, back if you I'm need finally us. on DJ hours. Okay, so that means I should be able to hang out with you and everyone else. That it was uh, Martinez that took Reed. Yeah. And now they don't know how no one can do the cuffs that he's in. I don't think anyone can get him out of the cuffs, to be honest. No, they can't. Oh, uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that was basically their response was. You guys are not going to be able to do that excuse for long. If you guys live with him and you all wear the same sort of stuff and you're all <laughs> working together, you are grass. going to be associated with him no matter what. And every time he has beef, it's going to come back to you. Yeah, like I said, it's a weird logic, but whatever. It's like you said, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah. I guess. So that brings me on to my next thing, which I probably shouldn't talk about right this second because it's in the house. Oh, we need to go to BU and you need to get that money out. I already did. Did? Mm hmm Where is it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? For like 5,000 or something. I put it somewhere. It's downstairs. Okay. I think I put it in a big box. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and this. That's the money. Okay. Because I've been bargaining for like a week. Yeah, it was five grand. I put it in, in with the, the rest. Okay, thank you. Um, he's still in the house. <coughs> what about that? She wants to talk about Billy. You hear me? Mm hmm. Come outside for a second, please. Um, so what? I love the rain. That was you. Good. Hang on a minute. You said you did like the rain when I, I do, about but it's it. loud. Let me fix the fucking car real quick. Ah. 
Just let me uh, fix the rain real quick. I don't have a repair kit. Is this yours? Oh. It's a uh, state owned. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's electric, right? Yep. Okay, I thought so. So it probably doesn't go that fast. Mm, it goes like 120. Doesn't it overheat though? Yeah. No. So it's, it uh, looks nice. I don't know. It looks nice. It's not loud. So it's nice to use when you have conversations. That's about it. Not a good race car or like running from cops car. Are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God, these fucking repair kits are useless. I have one. Huh? Thank you. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So what are you guys up to? Fucking nothing. I was at the PD meeting. I heard they were raiding fucking. Okay. Read. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. They were at the apartments and then he ran away. So I don't know if he's still being chased or not. Oh, they got away. They got away? Yeah, that's why they were oh. calling me. You, they were driving a fucking. Cuts. They were dr driving a fucking club. Let's go like 120, 130. I guess. Are you eating a rotten piece of corn? Yeah. You're all fucking weirdos. Everyone that goes to the fucking sewer, you have fucking sewer brains or something. Something yeah, wrong I've been you. making so much money selling rotten food. It's crazy. Yeah, like I said, you old fucking weirdos. Oh, fucking weirdos. But yeah, that's about it. I ain't is, this, is this better? Why would that be better? You're eating rotten food. That is not better. Oh, I just thought maybe if I took off like the hobo hat and beard, you know, it'd be less weird. No. That doesn't change the fact that you're eating rotten food. You never, like, left out some chicken a little too long and you just said, fuck it. I'll, no. I'll take the chance. Oh, God, no. No. Oh. If, I oh. leave, if I leave chicken out for, like, a few hours, I'd throw that shit out. Okay. Hey. What about pizza? Pizza is different. How? You can leave pizza out for, I don't know, a while, and then you just put it in the fridge. Still gets bacteria on it. Mmm. I wouldn't, yeah, but it's not moldy. And I'm not leaving it out for more than a, a few hours. I'm not leaving it out for, like, a day or two. Yeah, true. Like, if I leave it overnight, I wouldn't eat it. I used to know somebody that would order pizza and then put it in the fridge to cool down, and then they would eat it. Yeah, I don't have an issue with that. Cold pizza just hits different. Yeah, it does. So. As long as it doesn't have pineapple. Nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza. Yeah, I like pineapple on pizza. Oh my god. Again, you can't talk. You're eating fucking moldy bread and corn and or whatever corn. else you're putting in your fucking uh, face. You know, Microwave when I'm in the sewer room, no. and I'm hurt and I dig through trash, it's like I'm using a, using a bandage. I'm like Wolverine yeah. down there. Yeah, Rod told me you feel better for searching the trash. Yeah, yeah. I think my genes are mutating or something. Hawaiian pizza? Fuck off. I don't know if you that's a know. good thing. Oh, I'm just like Wolverine. You know, I just heal. 
I can get shot and I can go to the sewers and just dig through a bag of trash and feel right better. I don't know how hygienic that is, though. You know, I probably don't even need to eat at all. I could just keep digging through trash. Pineapple belongs on pizza? Yeah. Someone call me fat today, so maybe I'll just stop eating. I don't care what people say. You can put whatever you want on your pizza. To a certain degree. Hmm. Hey. What up? I feel like Reed should be out there somewhere with cuffs on his fucking arms. <laughs> or wrist. Oh, he's cuffed still? And he got away? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's impressive. I wonder if we could, uh... <clears throat> use the grinder on handcuffs to get him off or something. I doubt it. Good try. Yeah, it cuts through a cargo container. Maybe. <laughs> Coming up here. Who? Sherry. Sherry's coming up here. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, you love her car. No, it's disgusting. Oh well, she's bringing it up here. Okay. Could she not bring it up here? Cold. Hmm. Could say that. Yeah, I can. What? Have you have Why? you seen it? She, that's why she's bringing it up here. Ugh. So what are they doing about Reed? Um, so they think he might have got out of the cuffs. Okay. So he's fine. Okay. But he got away. And probably just has a warrant. Same for Martinez if they're able to identify him. Well, Martinez didn't have a fucking mask on. He just walked up to them. Literally. And then got in his car. And then picked up Reed. Mm -hmm. Great. He'll have a warrant, too. Not yet. No, they've got to go through higher-ups now, apparently. What, to do warrants? Yeah, warrant has to be signed off by a higher-up, as I was told. That seems kind of productive. To check that, like, there's enough a uh, PC for the warrant, I guess. Huh. So someone fucked up bad, huh? They're ever fucking up back in the like. You would literally have a warrant for someone. We catch them, and then we'd we'd have to read the warrants back when I was high command to check that they actually were warrants, because you would get these really random ones where they were like would not tell you why this person was under arrest. I'm gonna go back inside. I don't like the rain. Well, I, I like. Okay, don't get me. I, I like the rain. I hate how fucking loud it is. Am I grabbing the key? It's open. No need. No. Oh. Hey, Billy. Yeah. You want to explain your nemesis to Michael? What happened? Oh yeah. Oh. Um. I'm a little cooked, but I'll do my best. Mm hmm. Uh, basically, you know, Manny and his uh, BFF was. Uh, they were doing some towing, and I was like, "Hey, I'm bored. Let me just tag along. I don't care about getting paid or whatever. Just hang out." And. <laughs> 
it was probably the first job we got there and uh I, uh, you know, I, I, I like the stir, and uh, I was asking questions, and uh, some backstory the other day, Dahlia was up here, Manny was up here on the phone, and he said, I love you, goodbye, to somebody, and Dahlia gave, like, a, a bit of a reaction, and, you know, someone who, like, you know, likes to troll and stir a bit, when you see someone give a reaction, you know, like, boom, push it a little bit, that's like a, you know, a point of attack right there, so... I asked Theo, why, uh, like, does she does she tell Manny that she loves him? <laughs> she starts asking why, why, all that. And finally, um, you know, she admits to it and then asked me why I wanted to know. And I said, well, I wanted to mess with Dolly and Manny because somehow it bothered her. I don't know why exactly it bothered her, but it, it did. And then she pulled out a wrench on me. And I was kind of just dumbfounded because this person is, you know, mainly described as a civilian and, uh, you know, not, not a hostile person. And they suddenly just pull a wrench out on me. And so, you know, I think it's just some sort of bluff. And I kind of no balls them. And I said, well, if you're going to pull out a wrench, you better make sure you, you know, you're ready to use it. You're just a civilian anyways. And uh, they said, Civilian. I've murdered tons of people. And I was like, oh, you really shouldn't have said that to me. And uh, then they swung at me with the wrench. They missed. They hit the tow truck. I ignore it. I get in the tow truck. They walk around. And I say, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. And then they come back around. So I get out to see if they're going to have the audacity to do it again. And she swung at me again with the wrench and hit the tow truck again. So at this point, I pull out my knife and I cut her and she swings at me again. And we both basically go down at the same time. And that was the birth of my nemesis. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I could have told it better the other day. But also I asked her why did any of this matter? And why was it worthy of trying to kill me? And she said because I wanted to hurt Manny. Wait, why is create that fucking commander there? So she was ready to kill for Manny because I was just gonna, you know, mess with him and Dahlia. Wait, what? You were going to mess with him and Dahlia? Yeah, at the fact that uh, he says I love you to his best friend. Wait, I don't even know why it bothered Dahlia. Is that like a, a them thing? Mm, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Saying the whole thing I love was... you is intense to some people, it's not to others. Different strokes of different folks. Well, who was the one that swung at you, though? It wasn't Dahlia. No, it was uh, Theodore Theo, Manny's bestie the ADMC civilian queen person. Mm. All over and I love you. Truck. They also thought I was jealous of their friendship for some reason. I don't know. A lot of people keep saying that I love you for whatever reasons. So, Shrek. It's not, I don't know, not that weird. Oh, do you say I love you to a lot of people? No. 
what everyone else does. You know, fucking mayor keeps saying it too. Like, like it's not. Yeah, it's not that weird. There's a guy I have. Love. Oh, sorry. What? There's different types of love. Someone just appreciate. You can love someone because you appreciate them. Love you, bye. <laughs> There's a guy that I have saved in my phone as I love you, guy, because. He always says I love you to people. That's how I know him. I don't actually know his name. There. Yeah. I see him in the sewer sometimes. Makes sense. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. People do different things. Hundred percent is Glorian. So, I don't know. Is there like, is it is, is this a problem or is there a problem or? Oh, I don't, I mean, I think I ironed it out with Manny. You know, I, I, I'm a little bit worried about Dahlia though. Cause I, you know, technically stabbed her brother's best friend. Even though, you know, I gave her a couple opportunities to, you know, not attack me, even though I kind of, you know, was asking for it in a way. But yeah, I mean, I haven't really seen her, so we'll see. I'll tell her about it, but Manny seems okay with it. He said he's not going to hurt me over it, but he said, uh, you know, if anything happens to her, he's not going to do anything to me, but he'll be deeply sad. And I said, well, Manny, I don't want to hurt your best friend because I don't want to hurt you. Well... If you don't want to do that, you shouldn't be aching people on either. Well, I didn't think she was going to, you know, try and bash my skull in, like. Well, you did or, literally no balls there. Yeah, but I felt like no ballsing someone is like, no balls. And then what? When people no do balls, it? No balls, you know, like that. Mm. Some, mm, mm. I mean, technically, I don't, What? Depends on the person. Okay. They have double down syndrome. Every time you nose balls them, they're going to do it. Bibbin? What are we bibbin at? I have a lot of experience in that. I don't know. As long as everything is fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad. I don't, I don't think Manny is. I haven't talked to her, but, you know, when she was laying there uh, on the hospital bed and I was saying, you know, I don't hold anything against her. She said, fuck you, you cunt. Something like that. Well, if you stabbed her, there's no, you know, why wouldn't she? Also goading her. You knew what you were doing in that room. I was there. Oh, I, okay. Slightly. Yes, but I also uh, don't, you know, I, I don't want anything to come of this. <laughs> she said she was gonna rip your skin from your body. Yeah, and I told her that I was gonna peel her fingernails off, throw it, run it through a cheese grater, and make her inhale it. So it's like she's got glass in her lungs, and then it's gonna fill up, and she's gonna choke on her own blood and die. So like, I we're kind of even. All fucking crazy. Okay. I guess she's getting food. Oh, never mind. The sherry's outside. Yeah, I don't know. As long as there's no fucking problems, I don't give a shit. So I, I shouldn't talk to you unless there's a problem? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I'm not going to do anything if there's not a problem anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What is this thing? Hey, Michael. Hey. 
Hey. I hate your key. I hate your car. You know that. No, it's ass. I do not care about people being kin like fucking kids in a kindergarten. If you're gonna egg somebody on and then no balls them and then be like all Pikachu face when they fucking do it, then that's on you. I got better shit to deal with. Better... Better ways to spend my time. If there's gonna be inter internal... Blech, fuck. If there's gonna be internal drama, then at the end of it, somebody's gonna come out, you know? Not being on top, they're gonna get fucking yeeted. Because they're called causing issues. Like a legit. After I just kind of said fuck it and didn't really care about it, it's been so much easier. So much less drama. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. Michael is there. We're all gonna go on a drive. You guys, you guys would like to join us, me and Jenny? No. Are you sleepy? You just, you, you, you just woke up, right? <laughs> no, I woke up like three hours ago. Cool. No, I don't want to drive that piece of shit. It's so, no, it actually drives super fun. Like, everyone that have driven it says it's one of the best cars. Like, it drives so good. Maybe, but it looks like shit. It doesn't look like shit. Yeah, it does. Just because... Remove just because the, the spoiler, cars... Sherry, and then color it in a not green color, and then we can talk. What do you mean? It looks beautiful. No. How are you going to make it into a Barbie car? I, I could do Ooh. a Barbie car. Like, bright pink. Yeah. Like, pink headlights and pink pearlescent and pink spoiler. <gasps> OP rat car. I don't know if that's if is that's it fast? very Barbie-ish. Does this have convertible options? No, it doesn't. There's also okay. The so the customizations is on this car are so so bonkers, Michael. There's even a bigger spoiler. I'm not even kidding. Okay, can you change the fucking exhaust at least? And what do you remove, mean? And remove the spoiler. Now I love this. I love the exhaust. They're small and tiny. It makes a car very silent. Yeah, surely that's how that works. It's mini, okay? It's supposed to be small. <laughs> Save the small mini, though. It's like the proper size car, four door mini. It's, it's a lovely car, okay? And I love it. Come, 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 I'll give you all keys. Come on. I can't drive it, Sherry. You got a turbo on this bad boy? No, I have to steal someone, uh, a turbo from someone and then put it, since that's trend these days. Yeah, I hear some cars don't, uh, can't even fit the turbo. Maybe this will be... Oh, hey, Manny.
Why am I getting in the passenger seat? Oh, thank God he's driving. Improvement. Why the fuck am I driving though? Because I can't. Why can you not drive? Because I'm hungover. It makes me queasy. Makes you queefy, queasy, queasy to drive. Yeah. Queefy. <laughs> queefy. <laughs> Shut queasy, the fuck yes. Up. <laughs> Did you log it to 48? Yeah, this is in Call Me Maybe, uh, Miley Cyrus, Good Times, and all those kind of songs. Oh, uh, it turns like it. Ass. How is this a rat car? Yeah, you want me to play my playlist? No. Ooh, ooh, press that button. Just press that. Can you press the red button? Fine. I'll do it. See? Wow, your car, cool? your car has seed warmers? Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Isn't it cool? Yeah. I love cars with seed warmers. Bro. If you think this one is crazy, Phantoms, I should show you the fucking... The Raiden going uphill? Sh sh should I... At an 80 degree the angle. Too? They've got a remote right here. Huh? Oh, good, oh, good seat massages. I don't like... Well, who's saying that this car is good? McGregor... McGregor Reed. is on... F on something. Fury, um, Fury loves this car. He actually wants to buy it. Yeah. Have we tried going to Court Center? Have I tried to what now? The Court Center. Right. You, you can go into every every place. Oh no! I Only just good drivers I appreciate this it. I gave to come up and get out of the business. Sorry, business license thing. A hunting license because I was already on the way up here, so. I'm gonna meet him up somewhere. Hello. Oh, Polito gas station, okay? I don't have a postal, what do you mean? Yeah, the big one. You mean only rat strat people care okay, about bye. this car. Oh. Stairs. Lovely. <laughs> oh, this is where Bingo was gonna murder me. Did he though? Oh, he decided that he didn't want to ocean dump me tied to the car. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't do stairs. Can you turn on your inner rat? Uh, it doesn't. It, I can do stuff. No, oh, it, I have it, to like wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not overly. Nope. No, this, this thing fucking sucks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No? Yeah. Oh Skill God. issue? It does not suck, okay? I will fucking show you. 